This is for Andy, Anderson, Dennis, watch this Dennis, I'm playing first one from my front of the and addressing the ball right behind the ball, addressing it right behind the ball. Okay, shot a little bit out to the right, it le kind of leaked away to the right just a little bit. Now I'll move it back in my stance a little bit between the middle and, and the front toe where I had it before. And instead of addressing right behind the ball, I'm going to start my takeaway from back here. From that position, I'm going to start my takeaway. I'm not touching the ground, I normally hover it there, so what I'll do is I'll hover it over here. Dead straight down the middle and about 20 yards further. It seems to give a higher club head speed through the impact area. Rather nice. Thanks, Dennis. It's working with a lot of my students too. Give it a try. Well, that is nice to watch. I'm going to try it with my 22 degree on the hybrid. That is where it worked really well for me. Oh, nice. Nice trajectory, nice everything. Let me try a Let's try my forearm. One of the more difficult clubs to hit. Most people have a problem with the forearm. Let me try that. Right behind the ball. Move it back. Arms, shoulders, everything. Hands, arms, shoulders, chest moving around a little bit. Starting from there. Lovely strike. Very, very effective. I can't believe how effective it is. Seems silly, but it's such a small thing. But I think it takes out a lot of the wafting around and taking away problems that a lot of people have, that initial takeaway from the ball. It cuts that out, and it cuts it by half, actually. There's, somebody said the first 12 inches of the takeaway are the most important. Well, if you move it back there, you've already cut out half that problem, because you're already starting from a really good position. Lovely to see. Do one more. Mm. Wasn't the best. I've got one more ball left. Let me use that. Lovely stuff. That is long and straight. Thanks, Dennis.